Hi everyone, today I wanted to do a video to teach you how to contour in the simplest way that I know how, as well as reasons why you may not be able to contour your image and simple hacks that you can do in order to fix that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload this unicorn design. And this is something that I found on Google. All I did was search for unicorn clip art black and white. I right clicked it and saved it to my computer. And so now I'm going to go ahead and upload it as a complex image. So by default, any image that I upload, I do it as a complex image for no other reason other than I have found it to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And if I were to clean this up normally and I were to click preview, you'll see that if I zoom in, you can see these little fuzzy dots around the outline of the image, as well as you can see the watermark in the background. And so I'm going to go ahead and click back. And after clicking on complex, I'm going to go over to my advanced options. And for any black and white image that I upload, I go ahead and I change the top number to two and then this bottom number I will put at 60. And so the higher the number is at the bottom, the more it's going to take away from your image. And so I have found that 60 is a good starting number in order to get rid of the fuzzy dots in the image. And so once you are done clicking everything with the exception of the black outline, you can go ahead and preview it if you want. And so you can see that all of the fuzzy dots are gone as well as the watermark. And so I'm going to go ahead and click continue and I'll save this as a cut image. Once I've done that, I can insert it into my canvas. And I am going to go ahead and resize it. And what I'll end up doing is I'm going to duplicate it as many times as many colors as I want in my final project. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it once for the yellow stars, once for the gold horn. I'm going to duplicate it for the white face as well as two different pinks and one purple. And then I'll duplicate it one last time. And I'm going to go ahead and click this eye icon. And what that does is it hides that layer. That way, if I ever want to come back to this project, maybe a month or two down the line, I can just go ahead and uncheck this. And I have an image that has not been altered in any way. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my first layer. And I'm going to click on contour. And any time that you go into contour, the first thing that you want to do is click hide all contours. And I'm going to go ahead and click everything that I want to be a specific color. So I know I want the inside of the stars to be yellow. And that's the only thing in the image that I want to be yellow. So once I have clicked those, I'm going to go ahead and click this top box. And then I'm going to click the X and you'll see that I'm left with just those stars. So I'm going to go ahead and take my bottom layer and I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the stars to yellow. And I can go ahead and put these in place. I'm then going to take my next layer and I'm going to click contour. And I'm going to click hide all contours. And this time I'm going to click everything that I want to be gold. So I'm going to click the inside of the horn. And once I've done that, I can go ahead and click this top box and X out. And again, I'm left with just the pieces that I've clicked on. I can go ahead and change that to gold and put that in place. I'm then going to go ahead and take my next layer. I'm going to click contour. I'll click hide all contours. And this time I'm going to 
click on everything that I want to be pink. So I'm going to get the two ends of the bow as well as this middle piece of hair. And I'm going to go ahead and click this top box. And now I can go ahead and change this to, let's say, a darker shade of pink. And I'll go ahead and put these in place. I can then go ahead and click on my next layer, click contour, and then I'm going to click idle contours. And this time I'm going to go ahead and click the inside of the bow as well as these two outside pieces of hair. And I'm going to click this top box. And now I can go ahead and change this to say purple. I can then go ahead and take my next layer. And I'm going to go ahead and click contour. contours. I'm going to click these two inside pieces of the ear. Click this top box and X out. And I can go ahead and change this to a light pink. And lastly, I can take my last layer and I can go ahead and click contour contours and I'm going to click everything that I want to be white. So I'm going to get these outside pieces of the ear as well as the face. And so within the face I have my eyelashes and the nostrils and I'm just going to go ahead and click on those. Since I don't want those to be white I am essentially deselecting them so I'm going to go ahead and click this top box. And you'll see that now I'm left with just the white piece of the face. So I can go ahead and change that to white. And then something you may want to do, it's just personal preference, you can go ahead and click on your canvas and then click this box up here. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to move this to a really light shade of gray. And so now you can see um, the difference between the canvas and the white of your image. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this and I'm going to group it and then that way I can go ahead and hide it all at once. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on my next image. Um, so this is the same image that you just saw. However, there is a gap in between these two pieces of hair. And so when you're searching for images, it's super important that your image be fully outlined. And I'm going to show you two examples of why. So for this first one, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And I'm going to click on this layer and I'm going to click contour. And so let's say I just want this middle piece of hair to be pink. I'm going to go ahead and click hide all contours and I'm going to click this middle piece and then I'm going to X or click the top box and then X out. And so what you'll notice is that it actually has picked both pieces because there is no um, line delineating the two pieces. And so the same with this image right here. I have this image that if I were to go ahead and try to contour this image, you'll see that everything turns gray with the exception of the head and the neck. And so again, because there's not a full outline, 
connecting, it's going to not allow you to contour. So an easy fix for that is to go to shapes and then you're going to go to square in the lower left hand corner. I'm going to unlock the square and then I can click on this right hand corner and I can actually resize this into a thin line. And so once I've done that, I'm going to place it um, at the base of the unicorn. So I can go ahead and I can select both of these and I can click weld. And what has happened is instead of this being two separate pieces, this is now all one piece. And so this time I can go ahead and duplicate my image and I can go ahead and click contour. Again, I'm going to click hide all contours. I'm going to click the face as well as the nose and then I'm going to deselect this eye since I don't want that to be white and I'm going to click this top box and I'm going to X out and now you'll see that I'm left with just the face that I was able to contour. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And something that you may be wondering is why I kept putting my image in the lower left hand corner. And so right now um, there are some glitches with them trying to update design space. And so if you are in the new canvas, it doesn't always create a black silhouette. And so what I'll show you is if I click on these three lines, I can click on settings. And before I do this, I'm actually going to go ahead and open up a new window. And so I am going to go ahead and um, go into, I'll go into this project and I'm going to click customize. And I'm going to make sure that I am in the new canvas. So I clicked on my settings. I'm still currently using the classic canvas on here. Um, or excuse me, I want to make sure I'm in the classic canvas. So in the other part of the video, I've been using the new canvas. This one, I'm in my classic canvas. So if I go ahead and duplicate this image and I click on this one, if I click contour and I click hide all contours, you'll notice that this image is black. And so as you are contouring, what will happen is, let's say I decide that um, I want maybe a few of these pieces to be a different color. So as I'm selecting them, you can see that they are changing white over in this lower left hand corner. And so if you are a beginner, this may be something that's a little bit easier for you to visualize what you are actually selecting. And so until um, Design Space is fully fixed, um, you may need to be in your classic settings. And so the next thing that I want to show you is I have this image that let's say you wanted the tail to be a different color from the rest of the unicorn because this is one solid silhouette contour is not available and so something that you could do is you could use a third party like adobe illustrator or inkscape and i'm sure there are ways that you could separate the tail from the body 
Um, however, you can do it in design space. Um, it may not be as precise as using other programs. Um, however, depending on your image, it may actually be precise. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shapes and I click on square. And again, I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. And I'm going to create a thin line that I can place in between the horse's body, or excuse me, the unicorn's body and the tail. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit shorter and thinner. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rotate this as best as I can. To make this cut line look as natural as possible. And so what I can do is I can go ahead and. I can go ahead and select both of these by dragging a box and clicking slice. And then I can go ahead and move my unicorn away. I'm going to delete all of this. And then I can go again and go back to shapes. I'm going to select the square. And this time I'm going to unlock the square and turn it more into a rectangle and I can go ahead and place this over the tail of the unicorn and I'll just go ahead and select both and slice again and now my tail is actually separated from my unicorn and if I wanted I could go ahead and change the color of the tail as well as you could do it for the horn or any other part of the unicorn that you want to do that for. And so now I'm going to go ahead and click on this image. And so let's say I found this image online and I love the image. However, I don't love this wand. I'm going to go ahead and click on contour. And so the majority of the time you will want to click hide all contours. However, since I only want one piece gone from this image, all I need to do is click on the wand as well as the inside of the star and then X out. And now that's gone. And so next I'm going to show you um, this is an image that I downloaded from a website. It was a free SVG. And so with an SVG, you'll notice that as I click on it, contour is not available. And so when you have a true SVG that is layered already, you actually don't need to contour. And so if there were parts of this image, let's say like the bubbles, if I didn't want those, I could either hide them or I could also um, ungroup this and I could individually delete each one or individually right click and looks like I can't hide it so I can just right click and delete it or I can click in the layers panel, click this eye icon and delete it as well as let's say I want this shell to be a different color. I can just go ahead and change the color of the shell. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And the last thing that I want to show you is with fonts. So I have a font that I have downloaded from the font. And it is called Unicorn Magic. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and type out the word unicorn in this font. And I'm going to go ahead and resize it. So as you can see, when I click on this, contour is not available. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and weld this. And once I have welded it, you'll notice that now contour is available. It is important to note that if you weld anything and you save your project, you can't actually unweld it. Um, you can click the back button prior to saving it. However, once you save it, in order to fix something, you would have to either slice it off or you could also create a duplicate and hide that duplicate prior to welding. And so let's say I want to go ahead and get rid of some of these stars in this image. I can now go ahead and click contour. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uncheck the stars that I don't want. And so it looks like design space um, is lagging a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, X out and I'm going to um, go into my settings again and go back to classic. I'm just going to replace this. And then I can go ahead and retype out that same text. And so it will be so nice once um, Cricut has fixed all of these design space issues. So really quick, I'm going to type out unicorn. And in case you're wondering, I have um, downloaded this from Defont, like I said, but I also have my caps on um, to make sure that I get the stars as well as the um, horns. If you type in lowercase, it will only type out the um, letters. And so again, I'm going to weld this real quick. And then I'm going to click on contour. And so I can go ahead and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and I'm going to uncheck just a few of these stars. And I'm going to go ahead and X out. And so now you'll see some of the stars are gone. And so the last thing I want to show you is if I just were to type out a single letter. So I'm going to type out an A. Again, weld, or excuse me, contour is not available, and neither is weld. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go to Align and Center, and then I'm going to weld this. And so now contour is available. You can go ahead and uncheck these stars, and then I can X out. So now I have that A without um, the stars. So hopefully you found this video useful. You learned something from it. If there's anything else that you want me to do a video on, leave it in the comment and share this with somebody that you think would benefit from it. Have a great night, everyone.